Well, um, it's really cool to uh, have the opportunity to finally show off the boat at, at the uh, 2019 dinghy show. It's the first time I've ever had a boat here. Never thought it was going to happen, but somehow it all worked out. And here we are. It's a year since we uh, we gave it away to Phoenix Marine to, to restore it all. And uh, she's a different beast entirely. Absolutely. My wife uh, regularly reminds me that it took nine months to build an entire human being and it took 12 months to renovate this boat. So <laughs> we've taken our time, but she's, um, you know, we've been out for one sale to test everything and just make some more refinements. And she seems, she seems good, you know, it's a new venture for us. Neither of us got a great deal of experience in teams no. um, in terms of the boat. Well, we sold it once. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the experience. Um, and yeah, it was. It was right. um, but yeah, we just sailed 49ers and 800s and 18 foot skiffs and all sorts of chilly boats like that. Um, so we like chilly fast boats. And I suppose the appeal for us with one of these was the flexibility and being able to kind of do what we want within the loose rules that bind the boat and um, Tom make, make the boat yourself your own you know, your yeah own thing. put your own mark on it and hopefully without crashing into it too many times <laughs> um, and uh, yeah she's so I suppose a lot of people have seen how this boat has changed um, it's worth talking about how that came about uh, so a gentleman called David Somerville at Phoenix Marine um, I do a little bit of work with him through uh, through Zyke um, who Help us out to the boat. Um, and uh, David basically looked at the boat down the club and said, "Oh, I love 14s. They're, they're so cool. But this one needs needs so much love." And uh, he said, "You know, I've been looking for a project, something to really showcase what we can do. So let's let's sort your boat out for you." Um, so we said, "Okay." Um, and uh, that was the start of everything that's happened here and got us to this point. Um, they resprayed it. They sanded it back been reshaped about 13 kilos of weight at least has come out of it um, and uh, the deck's been off back down again new wings that were uh, specially made in a really fancy mold shop that make parts for ferrari and various other really cool companies so these wing bars used to be aluminium and aluminium and carbon don't really interact very well so this is all original classic sort of m12 uh, design feature, but these bits are all, all new. Keep the wing bars at the front, which yeah take quite a bit of load. You've got your shrouds attached, so that's all quite a intense, integral part of it. Really. So that was something we weren't sure how to replace. Talking to David, uh, Jason, uh, Phoenix Marine, they saw it out, and uh, yeah, she's she's rock solid now. Yeah. And we we pulled the rig tension on the first time after the new wings went on. And Nothing creaked, thankfully, and we were we were a little bit terrified the whole time. But uh, but yeah, she is just absolutely solid as a rock. Awesome bit of kit, and uh, yeah, they've done a spectacular job sticking her back together and, and making her better than she was when she was new. Little things like moving the controls. So the controls used to be on a welded cleat mount on the shrouds. She's quite far forward. The way 14s have gone, T foils. You know, your loads lifting at the back. So a lot of your weight has to go back. So we wanted to move the controls back. So we've got kite, uh, sort of kicker, and uh, kano brought back to the middle. Right now, right? Yeah, sure. They actually work as well. Which one's which? That's uh, kano, yeah, kicker. <laughs> That's just put it on the ram. And, uh, yeah, kano as well. It's made it a lot easier to sail. Hopefully, we've only sailed it once with it, so we already know it's good. So yeah, so kickers, more of a nav. And, uh, yeah. Fun. With the 14, we've got the, uh, the lifting foil and the gantry. Um, so the, uh, the rudder's just in here. I'm constantly terrified of knocking this thing, which is why we spoke to a lovely group of people at the old salt loft, and they made up some nice bags for us to protect it. Um, and then Phoenix Marine resprayed the whole thing in Durapox just to make it match the boat and make it nice and slippery through the water. Uh, it's a composite craft design um, for, for anyone that cares. And 
It works. Um, it, it works really well. It's it's considered to be one of the one of the quicker floors on the market at the moment. Um, like I say, we haven't done a great deal of sailing with it, but we've been out once. But it does uh, does seem to do the job it's intended to do. Um, and uh, yeah, running through the boat, we've got the rudder stock, which just adjusts here. Uh, we've got like a four to one system. Probably wrong in that, but we've got a system anyway. And uh, it allows a fair bit of movement in the rudder just to uh, crank the foil on, get more lift at the back, and then let it off progressively if, uh, if it's getting windy and you want to keep the nose in the air, get a bit of control. Um, it's basically like an accelerator pedal, effectively. Um, and then we've got this uh, retainer here which just pulls it all in the right direction when we let it off. All new shiny Allen tiller extensions which I'm sure Tom can tell you something about. They're, uh, but they work pretty well as far as I'm concerned, the new tiller extensions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a new one from Allen. Um, basically just wanted to make our, our tillers a bit more blue. Yeah, blue. Stand out, something unique about them because anyone can just have boring old black tillers. But, uh, these are UK based uh, carbon uh, moulders. And um, yeah. I feel they go really well with our blue. They definitely make it go fast. In colours. It's all very matchy matchy. Yeah. <laughs> but that blue. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, while well, we're up there, Tom's hand on it. We extended the boom and uh, stiffened it up as well a little bit because the, uh, the extra load is pulling on. The, uh, the bigger and bigger heads on the main sails so to uh, keep them under control and stop the boom from snapping hot. So we uh, just got that to strengthened up. And we increased the purchase and controls around it just to give us the potential uh, need. Funny enough, it's the next the boat, but we got these we new, just, new just put these new foot straps on. We borrowed them from the uh, we sell an RS800 as well, and they just work really nicely. They don't absorb too much water. They easy to fit. Your feet. Yeah, <laughs> super easy to put on, and uh, yeah, they never cause us any trouble. So spot on for what we need. Um, and then moving forward, we've got the uh, jib, um, which is on the same system as the, uh, the foil. Um, it's the same piece of rope, and uh, that just allows me to uh, to be able to adjust those two things on the fly as we're going upwind or downwind. Um, and then, yeah, uh, as previously mentioned, we had these new mouldings were added, um, and uh, we um, we've got the downbow and the kicker on here. Uh, is the uh, the keyboard system which we're now running. Yeah, it's pretty easy to show on old Brucey over there, but yeah, developed about two or three years ago now. Um, yeah, the design already kind of existed with Beth Weight. Uh, we just brought it up to up to spec, made it actually uh, refined it to make it a bit more usable. Getting up to your end of the boat now, Tom. Yeah. I'm lost. Some new uh, auto ratchets from Allen. So this is the tie-on version we've just been developing. Um, so yeah, they're just classic autos. Uh, free running when you let, once you let the load off. Um, these ones got two pulls in. The, uh, the actual um, strength of them is shared over uh, over both of them, so it's a bit of built-in obsolescence, so um, it should be more durable and uh, yeah. And they look damn good too. They're cool. Yeah, I mean, having sailed 49ers and 800s and stuff, the kite is tiny in comparison, and with 49ers you've got a three-patch kite, so the kite doesn't come nearly so far back. In this boat, it's sock takes up the length of the boat. Um, and as such, you only have one sort of up and down block, so you're pulling, pulling it up from this side and releasing it down from the, from the other. So uh, it's a new thing for us. But, um, and being 49er sailors and having already spent 12 months in a shed with this thing, we, uh, we decided to keep it simple. Yeah. Kiss philosophy. And uh, the deck layout is as such pretty straightforward right now. We've, uh, we've not got an adjustable rig, most of it's pins, but we do have some movement in the lowers and the forestay. Um, but yeah, really simplicity is, is our goal. Keep it light as well. We don't want to overcomplicate things. You know, like I said, we, we, we kind of know where we're at with skiffs, not so much with 14. So if we can make it as just skiff-like and less 14-like as possible, then that, that suits us. What's our dynamics? Um, at the moment we've just had a couple of recuts on those because they uh, they were actually made for a different boat, so we wanted them to fit everything correctly. 
Um, and uh, yeah, so they should be working. They should be working nice and efficiently. Uh, the mast, the boom, the spars, everything was resprayed in this super cool stuff called Allcraft 3000 or 2000. I can't remember, but it's it's an amazing clear coat that just gives it gives it loads of protection from the UV. And the uh, the whole hull above the waterline was also sprayed in that. So although it's all Duraplex primer. We've got just above the waterline a layer of clear coat over the whole thing just to give it UV protection so that this paint job stays nice and shiny for a long time. Hey, it's just something else to be on and we to the earlier, the original owner of the boat. And uh, yeah, I was just saying the, uh, the spars are original. Uh, when he owned it, um, 10 had years a, ago. Yeah, they've had a birthday, we've given him a bit of nice, basically what a bit of lacquer does, but uh, yeah, they're still. CST. Yeah, and they, they work, they're light, and they're stiff enough for these, these sails, so they, they do the job. Uh, Alan makes a, made us a nice blue custom Super Deeper uh, jib track. Yeah, having worked out, and obviously, you get a few perks. <laughs> but, uh, it's so definitely this, commercially available, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were working out, you know, we need to replace it with an old Ronstan one for that needed changing. Um, so yeah, developed the tie on car and uh, yeah. And they asked what colour you wanted to anodise, obviously it had to be blue. And a three deck thimble there as well, which uh, just takes the uh, centre in line so that it always pulls to the same side when you, uh, when you tack. And uh, I should also say that we met some lovely guys while we were here at the show that have uh, just started this new little business venture, um, Carbotech, and it's, uh, it's a really cool little compass bracket um, that they stuck on the boat, uh, so we thought we'd uh, show that off to the world, basically. Um, but yeah, it, it looks cool, and I like all things on this boat. It's a good solution to uh, mounting the tech Yeah, team. absolutely. The, uh, the, uh, the other ones, the standard ones, look a little bit clunky, so it's, it's nice to have. It's really nice to leave a down Yeah, it's all, um, all quite well for whale. And then keeping going forward, we, uh, we removed the, uh, the measurement bumps that the Morrison's Club is so well known for. Bit of a feature, but it's not necessary these days. Yeah, no. um, so fearing it has made it a lot. Look, it's like a new boat, it really is amazing the difference, just looking. I'm sure it's got no benefit otherwise, but it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Pretty standard feature um, that a lot of conversions that have been done on the yeah. RMW12, as it should, I should actually say, um, is um, the opening up the uh, spinnaker chute because the, uh, the kites have changed and I don't know if they've necessarily got huge, much bigger, but... It's not done by the previous owner. Um, which so just, now the kite fits, yeah, which is nice. Nice little feature just been cleaned in and fed in. It looks, yeah, it's a nice addition. We never sailed with it before, so we don't know what it was like. But legend, so there's a lot of spinnaker to get in to so quite a small hole. You know, there's not much room under the, under the hole there. So uh, by opening that up, it's made it easier. Uh, and then we're running forward, and I'm running out of boat now. So, so this is a little mod. Don't know what Dave did. So behind here we've just got the, the zip and everything, but it just smooths it all over for when we're driving. It should make the ropes pass around a bit easier. So we'll just all fared in. We've got the, uh, the up uphaul and downhaul down for the jib. So, the, so one pulls it up and one pulls it down. So you want to go to it? Both controls led back to the cockpit. Um, so, uh, yeah. Holes fared in quite nicely, so there's not really much room for. You look at the modern ones, holes are super chunky towards the end, but the old M12 are so pretty narrow, there's not much room to fill the boat with water. Yeah. And now we really are out of boat. But yeah, it, I suppose in summary, like for us, the 14 was on the bucket list, it was something yeah. we, we wanted to sail. It's a cool it, boat. Put it as a cheap sort of way into the glass, so it just. Yeah, it was accessible for us. We had no intention really of getting this in depth. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know how yeah. we ended up here, but here we are. So uh, we went with it, and yeah, we're loving it so far. It's Jumped in with both feet. Ooh. Yeah, one sail we've we've done was it was worth that. Cool. Twelve months in the ship. One year, one sail is a great fun to work ratio, but hopefully that'll improve throughout the year and get to a few events two, and, uh, two, and, two, and, two, and, two, and just uh, yeah, get it going.
Rig tension so this, on. This is the, uh, the full state basically in rig tension, so it all comes down to the new 40mm XHL Allen block. Um, I can tell you how much it was worth, but uh, I don't know. So, <laughs> full of facts here. Um, I think it's got, what's the purchase oh, on that yeah. thing? I yeah, I mean, there's a two to one up there. And I then lost count. Another one here. And another one there. Yeah, it goes yeah. back and forth. Comes back to here. It's a lot. It on this. <laughs> yeah. it's super smooth. I think, I think, yeah, a lot. There is a technical term yeah. for that. As at the moment, mode. at the moment, it's it's fixed. You know, we can't break it all. It's all. Um, at some point, we might we might go to a, a rope sort of system for the for the main trails. At the moment, it's just the lowers. So the lowers go around some old high tension blocks through uh, central Fairlead and around a load of purchase inside. And uh, it just makes it a bit easier. Well, uh, I suppose one other thing um, to add to that, it's just about the 14 class in general. Like, I think there's a lot of perceptions with an all carbon boat that the only way you're going to get into it is with, with a big checkbook. Um, being completely honest, yeah, Tom and I have had a lot of support with this boat. It's been, we've been very fortunate. But the reality is, to get the boat in this state, if we'd have uh, paid for everything that we've done on this thing, um, and even paid someone to fit it out the whole lot I, I don't think we'd have spent much more than about six thousand on, on the whole thing and it does look like a brand new boat it's it is truly amazing how much bang you can get for your buck with a with a 14 if you're willing to go for something that's 10 years old you know and do a, spend a bit of time sorting it out um you, you've got yourself a competitive boat for less than the cost of a you know a new single hander yeah. twice as much fun <laughs> Uh, Peek inside, it's dark past. There used to be some old drain pipes running fore and aft. The lead. When it was first built, you could move the lead fore and aft, but um, that all changed, came about, and they were fixed. But now she's quite an old boat, she don't need no lead.